Hey guys, um, Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com. And as you can see, we are in my email inbox today. And I'm going to show you how I stay super organized um, with my contacts and making sure that I keep in touch with um, my prospects, the people who are already on my team, um, the people who have joined my challenge groups, my customers, how I make sure that I sort of keep that stuff all together. Um, I am not big on spending money on customer relationship management tools. Um, I've tried a lot of different tools and this is the one I've settled on. It is a Gmail extension called Streak. S-T-R-E-A-K, and I'm not going to do a full tutorial for you today. I'm just going to show you kind of the basics of it and how I use it. Um, so if you go to these like three dots and you go to more, you'll be able to search for streak, S-T-R-E-A-K, and download it into your Gmail. So you'll see that my Gmail actually already has it. And I created these things called pipelines over here on my left. And I have three pipelines. I keep things what I think is pretty simple. I have coaches, which is all the coaches on my team. And I have them broken out, although I haven't really kept up with this. So coaches, discount coaches, inactive coaches, coaches that have quit, um, coaches that are active. Um, so you can split them up into these different, um, like, subcategories within a category um, if you'd like to so these are all my coaches so whenever I need to send something to my coaches I can use this pipeline um, and I don't keep a lot of information here um, it'll tell you how long they've been in that stage but I just use the name um, what stage they're in and their email that's what's most important to me you can add a lot more categories if you'd like but like I said I like to keep things pretty simple these are my coaching prospects. Um, you'll see I really only have one pipeline in here. These are just people I've sent info to that I need to follow up with. So you'll see over here, days and stage is a little bit more important because I want to know when I first added them to this and sent them the info. Um, so I can look in here and say, okay, well, I just sent these people the info today. I don't need to follow up with them, but maybe someone I sent it to 100 some odd days ago, you know, I want to make sure that I'm following up with them consistently to make sure that they don't have any questions. And then my last um, one is customers. So these are all of my customers. Um, these are not people I've sent coaching info to. These are not my actual coaches. These are just my customers. So um, I have in here, I kind of have them split up a little bit easier. Um, these are my customers, it's just like my basic list of customers. These are my free customers. Um, so these are all the free leads that Beachbody has given me, people that have gone in and ordered stuff without a coach and they've assigned me. Um, this is one of my coaches who left the business. These are her customers. These are people I've presented to but they haven't bought. These are people who are in my challenge group. And in my website, I actually um, collect emails and I give out a free um, five-day clean eating plan. So um, this is all those emails in here. And I actually just started that, so I only have eight. But um, this is how I track my customers and I keep up with them. And days and stage is also listed here because it's kind of important. One of the tools I use on here all the time is um, a mail merge. So this is how I send my newsletters and stuff. I can send 800 a day. Um, I do have more than 800 contacts, but I basically just split them up over two days. So I can just click like send mass mail merge. Um, I could send it to all my customers say, um, okay, go. And then it will pop up um, and I could just hit continue with mail merge. 864 boxes, it won't let me send it to all these people anyway. But I'm gonna end up deleting this because I'm not gonna send it. But you'll see it'll extract all my emails and I can send out a newsletter this way. It just allows me to not have to go into like another system like MailChimp or something like that. It's all integrated in my Gmail and it's totally free. I believe there are things that you can purchase on streak. I do not. I just use the free stuff. And like I said, I just keep these three pipelines. It works really well for me. Um, and to be honest, I wish I kept up better with the subcategories in the pipeline, but I don't. Um, and that is a goal of mine, but right now the way that I use it, it works really well, even without keeping up with that. Um, so I know there are a lot of different tools out there, but this is definitely my favorite. 
Um, so I hope that this was um, helpful for you. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. If you have any questions, um, you know, feel free to um, let me know. Um, and if you need more tips, you can check out my website at jilliancaplin.com. And I hope this was helpful for you. Talk to you later.